Assalamu alaikum students. Welcome to lesson 8 of our basic biology class. Lesson 8, DNA replication. Replication. In 1953, James Watson and Francis Crick worked out that DNA is double helix like a twisted staircase. The two sugar phosphate backbones make up the sides and the base pairs make up the rungs or steps of the twisted staircase. Deoxyribonucleic acid is copied during interphase prior to mitosis and meiosis. It is important that new copies are exactly like the original molecule. The structure of the DNA provides a mechanism for making accurate copies of the molecule. The process of making copies of DNA is called replication. Let's take a look at DNA replication. DNA is made up of many nucleotides, each containing a base represented by the letters A for adenine, T for thymine, C for cytosine, and G for guanine. A piece of DNA contains two strands of nucleotides twisted together to form a double helix. The two strands are complementary. This means that whenever there is an A in one strand they will be joined with T in the opposite strand. And wherever there is a C they will join to a G. Each strand has a 5' prime end and a 3' prime end. The two strands run in opposite directions. This determine how each strands of DNA is replicated. The first step in DNA replication is to separate the two strands. This unzipping is done by an enzyme called helicase and results in the formation of a replication fork. The separated strand each provide a template for creating a new strand of DNA. An enzyme called primase start the process. This enzyme makes the small piece of RNA called a primer. This marks the starting point for the construction of a new strand of DNA. An enzyme called DNA polymerase binds to the primer and will make the new strand of DNA. DNA polymerase can only add DNA bases in one direction from the 5' prime and to the 3' prime end. One of the new strand of DNA the leading strand is made continuously. The DNA polymerase adding bases one by one in the 5' prime to the 3' prime direction. The other strand, the lagging strand, cannot be made in this continuous way because it runs in the opposite direction. The DNA polymerase can therefore make a strand in a series of small junks called Okazaki fragments. Each fragment is started with a RNA primer. DNA polymerase then adds short row of DNA bases in the 5' prime to 3' prime direction. The next primer is then added further down in the lagging strand. Another Okazaki fragment is then made and the process is repeated again. Once the new DNA has been made, the enzyme exonuclease removes all the R. DNA primers for both strands of DNA. Another DNA polymerase enzymes then fills in the gaps that are left behind with DNA. Finally, the enzyme DNA ligase seals the fragments of DNA in both strands to form a continuous double strands. DNA replication is described as semi-conservative because each DNA molecule is made up of one old conserved strand of DNA and one new one. DNA replication activity Directions 1. Using the base pairing rule fit in the missing base pairs in the parent DNA molecule. 2. Color the base pairs the following colors. A equals green, C equals purple, G equals red, and T equals yellow. 3. Color the PDPD backbones of the parent molecule light blue. 4. The parent molecule will now split down the middle. Follow the left half of the parent molecule along the arrow 
and recopy it exactly colors and all into the daughter DNA molecule. Do the same for the right half of the parent molecule. 5. Fill in the base pairs for the new half of each daughter DNA molecule. 6. Color the new bases using the color key above. Then color the new PDPD backbone orange. 7. Fill in the identification key. Questions 1. Are the two daughter strands identical to the parent DNA molecule? Two, how much of the parent DNA molecule makes up one daughter DNA molecule? Three, in the summary box above, summarize the process of DNA replication in your own words. It may help to break it down into several small steps. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and click the notification bell.